Man, we had nothing but good news going for us till this breaking news. Chicago Bears head coach Matt Eberflus came out Wednesday morning and announced that Edge Yannick Ngakwe will miss the remainder of the season with a broken ankle he sustained against the Lions. This happened late in the game Sunday against the Lions in the Bears win, and Chicago was hoping to get better results from the MRI over the last couple of days. Yannick has had a bigger impact on this team than many think, especially over the last four games since Montez Sweat has come on to the team and man this sucks for chicago hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of just another year chicago my name is nick Rody, and as always thank you for tuning in if you want to send some love and support for yan and Agakwe for a strong and speedy recovery smash that like button on this video and also comment some well wishes and anything else that you want to say to yannick i'm going to send this video to him in his twitter dms he may answer or not but if he does or he gets a chance to see this. Yannick, we wish you a speedy recovery and hope all is well. And don't worry, the Bears have a next great man up in Demarcus Walker. So the 6'2", 246-pound edge is a seven-year pro that signed with the Chicago Bears this past offseason. He was drafted by the Jaguars and has kind of been a journeyman his entire career. But he, the 28-year-old's been doing pretty well for Chicago so far, and I was really hoping to evaluate him even more the last four games. He's played every single game and started every single game for the Chicago Bears this season, having 22 total tackles, six tackles for loss, seven quarterback hits, and four sacks. But the last four games have been a completely different story in a good way for him since Sweat has been on the team. He's had two of his four sacks in the last four games, along with two of his tackles for loss, five total tackles, and three quarterback hits. Was getting a ton more pressure on the quarterback, was really looking comfortable in this defense, and also you could see him picking up teammates and being just a good overall guy for the locker room culture. But unfortunately, he's going to be on the sidelines, still cheering for his guys out there. I thought he was doing a great job, and I hope, hope that this is just a minor setback for a major comeback. Yannick, we wish you a speedy recovery really quickly here and hope to see you back in Chicago next season. But with that, thank you very much for joining this quick breaking news episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, bear down.